Hi, I'm Emma. In this video, I would like to share with you some tips for returning to work if you feel ready. It can be hard to know when is a good time to return to work. Ask for guidance from your speech therapist or your doctor. Try volunteering first. My job before I had my stroke involved high levels of communication. I had to do many tasks at once. I knew that this was not possible to return to this role. Scope Australia is an employment service for people with a disability. They could be a good first step to finding work. I was fortunate that my employer was willing to have me come back because they knew I had not lost my knowledge and intelligence. The best advice I can give is to negotiate a return to work plan. It is best if you can do this with your employer and an allied health professional. Be realistic about what you think you can manage. Build up your hours and days of work slowly. I find that instead of taking a full hour at lunch, it was better to break that into two 30 minute breaks. I also gradually increased the number of days I worked. Hours of work per day increased over several weeks. Don't forget to consider the time you may have to travel to your job. Do you drive or take public transport? All these factors need to be considered. It is also important to know what time in the day you work best. Most of my communication tasks are done in the morning when I am fresher and less tired. In the afternoon, I can devote myself to one task at a time. These tasks are computer-based and require no conversation. Get as much equipment as necessary to help you manage your job. Headphones, special keyboards, chairs, or whatever is needed to make the job easier. I had a friend who works in hospitality and she wears a badge telling people she has aphasia. Don't hide your condition from workmates. Use it as an opportunity to educate people about aphasia. Many jobs can be done by working from home now. I work three days at home and one in the office. It is good for my aphasia to be with people and practice my communication skills in the office. Tell people what works best for you. If you are negotiating a new job, be honest about your disability, but also try to be optimistic. But listen to your body and don't push yourself too much. I will talk more about fatigue in a later video.